And then, uh, one thing that is probably a, kind of a big, big deal for us is that we sort of revealed to the world last night that we have been working for a while on a 32-bit Arduino, which we called Due. So uno means one in Italian, due, you know, logical progression. So the idea is that this is not just, you know, your regular Arduino running on a different processor. That's boring, you know, anybody can do that. So since we like to put ourselves in, uh, to get ourselves into trouble all the time, so we decided that, okay, we, make, we, we just start with a very powerful processor. This one is a 96 megahertz Cortex M3 microcontroller that has 512 kilobytes, no, 256 kilobytes of, uh, of flash, 50 kilobytes of RAM. It's got like five serial ports, four SPI buses. It's just the amount of stuff that it's in this thing is unbelievable. So it is incredibly powerful. So obviously, yes, we are working at making the Arduino core run on this one, but this is a good starting point to start to imagine where can we go further, you know, what can we add to Arduino that will make use of these powerful processors. So the process that we're gonna follow on this is that today you, under, you, you all understand that we are working on this. We have a few boards with us and we're gonna give it to a number of key developers who have used Arduino in their own products or you know, have built things based on the Arduino technology to help us continue the development of the core. And then um, you know, again about a month time or something, we will have uh, what we call a developer dish. We want to launch a new way of sort of uh, dealing with the community. Like a number of people have complained about the fact that sometimes we just release when something is almost done. So we want to involve people a lot more earlier. So we were worried at the beginning because if you sell something which is not sort of finished already, the finished products, they give you trouble. And imagine something that's not even finished. So we may, we're gonna make these boards that are clearly marked as developer edition. So we're gonna sell them only from the Arduino store so that we know who bought them and we can deal with them directly. And these people can sort of get early into a new platform and help us develop it. And then we imagine that this will be probably finished for a general public, I would say January 2012. You know, we have to be sort of honest about the amount of work that needs to be done to make this compatible with Arduino Uno. I mean, it's already running, we have the core and everything else, but clearly the testing, and also imagine new features that you can fit into this monster. You know, because this thing has got a full speed uh, USB interface, it's got uh, 16 analog to digital converters with 12-bit resolution that can sample at 384,000 samples per second. You know, it's mind-blowing. And also the Cortex and... <laughs> don't, I don't know. Uh, you should be clapping at Atmel. <laughs> I just put the chip on a PCB. <laughs> But if you are in the south of France, in Provence, which is incredibly beautiful, you should go to the little town of Rousset, and you will find all the little, uh, the, 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 the fantastic uh, Atmel engineers who made this. Atmel helped us a lot. I would like to, you know, thank the Atmel. Uh, uh, we, we talked to them, you know, we spent months explaining to them how they, they could help us make Arduino bigger, and they sort of followed us, they helped us. The people in, in France, they were great. And, you know, starting from Alf and Vegard, the A and V in AVR. Alf and Vegard, they, they, they are the sort of at the top of, the, of Atmel. And then all the other people, they helped us a lot. And so we have, you know, Jean-Christophe Zettel, just to throw some names, who's managing the group. Or, you know, Thibaut Viard is the developer inside Atmel who did an amazing amount of work on this. You know, we, would, we ping him at like midnight when he's like, asleep on the couch, like, Thibaut, this thing is not working. So, you know, we got that level of support, which it's, it's fantastic. So, yeah, it's amazing, and I am very happy. And I, you know, hope you kind of join us in this process to get this into an amazing uh, platform that anybody can then use to make great products. So, so... David Quartieres, who again is not here because he's manning the table, uh, has been working on the prototype of this Arduino robot system. The story of this Arduino robot system is, for me, is particularly 
uh, interesting because uh, we didn't develop this. Uh, two 17-year-old kids developed this in Spain. So these are two children, in a way. They started off at 12 years old, and they wanted to make robots, so they learned how to use Arduino. So it's um, um, their boy or girl. So they started to make robots, and then with Arduino, and they learned by themselves. The first robot was like a piece of wood with two wheels you know, and an Arduino. And then after that, they became really good, so they started to make these robots that actually play football. There's a European championship. They call it world champion. I don't know if they actually travel the world. But there's a world championship of robots playing football with each other. And, and, and essentially, they became world champions several times. And, they, and everything is made with, with Arduino, designed by them, built by them, with the help of the father. So they, if you look at Complubot on the internet, you will find more about them. And it's, it's pretty amazing because they now have a robot which is unbelievable with OLED graphical displays, multiple Arduino Megas, sensors. So we asked them to design a robot with a young robot builder in mind because, you know, we are old. Our brains are, you know, we need a young people. So this is a prototype. It's using an Arduino Mini here. So in the final version, we'll have the Leonardo in this. And um, it's good, but essentially it's a system. So the two, the two plates are actually both have processors and they talk to each other. So you can run them independently of a computer because you can program them from the top or you can remove the top and run it by itself. So that's all for today. <clears throat> In a way, we like to use this phrase lately, uh, Arduino is you, because effectively Arduino is you, you know, is the community. You know, we just throw things out and, and people respond and they build upon. And, and, and so every little piece in Arduino is made by a lot of people. Uh, there must be, you know, we have made an effort in the last years to become more open in the process and, you know, to let more people participate. And so I have to thank you for all the work you do on Arduino.